Hi students, we're going to start uh, the vector series uh, of videos by part one, three-dimensional coordinate system. Three-dimensional coordinate system consists of uh, the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis. Uh, you have a positive part for x and the negative part before, positive part for y, negative part for, for, for y, and for elevation, the same thing, positive up, negative y. For to put, if you put your uh, hand here in this case, this way on the z-axis, the thumb up will be the positive z, the positive x will be where your fingers, you go to the left, and where your hand is will be the positive y. So let us go to GeoGebra to check some, uh, the, this uh, th uh, three-dimensional, uh, Axis, we go to view 3D graphic. When you have 3D graphic, you can delete this one, the 2D, to enlarge the 3D graphic. So the red one is the x axis. This is the negative x. Here, the positive y, the green one, negative y. Here, the positive z, and here, the negative z. So if you want to locate, for example, a point A on the x axis, we take x any point, for example, 2, and you pick put for y and for z both zeros because i want it on on the x-axis you can see it here if you want a point on the y-axis you take both x and z to be zero for example suppose i put here minus one for the y so you're going to get it on the y-axis as you can see and if you want the point on the z-axis for both x and y you put zero suppose i want elevation to be three so this is my point as you can see Okay, so as you can see, these points, one on the X, one on the Y, one on the Z. Suppose I want, a, if I want a point located in the X, Y plane, if the point I want it in the X, Y plane, so I take a point for the X, a point for the Y, for example, but I put for the elevation zero. So here in this case, you can see that this point here on the X, Y plane, it is not any longer on uh, you know it's it's in this plane but we don't have elevation for it if you want a point for example on the xz plane on the xz plane you put x for example minus two the y is zero and z you can put the three you can see that this point if i turn it here well so you can see here now it's, this is on the this is the red one this is the blue one which is the x and the z axis so it's in this plane uh, it's not any longer on the y plane all right so that's why uh, if you long, want to locate points this is the way we can locate points so let us continue so this is a b c very simple this is on the x this is on the y this is on the z if you take the point for example d here how do we graph it so we're not, we don't have in the test GeoGebra. So that's why you go and you take X to be minus two. This is the, the bl black one is the X. This is the positive, this is the negative. I go minus two. And Y is a three, this is the positive three. So I have these two points. So I draw a parallel from uh, the minus two here on the X axis to the Y axis, parallel to the Y. And from the point three here, I draw a parallel to the X axis. They meet here because elevation is zero. So this will be the point. If I take the point E, for example, I don't have X. I have Y is minus three and Z is two. Y is minus three. This is Y negative here, minus three and Z is two. I draw a parallel here to the y axis and here a parallel to the z axis they meet here however if i have a point whose components neither is zero for example a g what do i do x here is minus two this is minus two y is a three this is a three so i do the parallelogram a parallel to the y and here a parallel to the x they meet here then i join the diagonal once you join the diagonal you go to the elevation my elevation here is four so one two three four from the elevation i draw a parallel to the diagonal so here the diagonal from this point here a parallel then I draw the vertical from the point down up where they meet will be the point G. So this is the point G whose X is minus two, whose Y, sorry, this is minus two, whose Y is a three and whose elevation is what five. If I want to draw point H, so, so I go X to be two, this is X, Y is minus three, I draw the parallelogram and the diagonal and the elevation is minus two. I go down minus two. I draw a line parallel to the diagonal. Then I join it by the vertical line. This will be point H. And you can check by yourself point I. And on GeoGebra, if you want to uh, graph and check an example, suppose here I want point F. So two minus one, four. This will be point F. You can see it, uh, the point F here. 
it's somewhere in this space okay x is positive y negative and z is positive okay so we're going to continue now now we're going to talk about plane. First of all, I'm going to start particular case of a plane. We know from before x equal to a in two dimension was a vertical line and y equal to b was a horizontal line. But in the equation of three dimension, these are not anymore neither vertical nor horizontal. These are particular cases of plane. To understand it better, then we're going to come reading the, the properties. We're going to take on GeoGebra. Suppose I want to graph I ask you graph, for example, x equal to 2. What does it mean, x equal to 2? x equal to 2, you take on the x axis the point 2. You don't draw a vertical line. It's a plane. So you draw a plane perpendicular to the axis, x axis at x equal to 2. And this plane, because perpendicular to the x axis, and we know the x axis is perpendicular to the y or z plane here. So this plane will be par uh, parallel directly to what? To the x to the z or y plane so x equal to 2 is a plane cutting the x axis perpendicular to the x axis at the point 2 and parallel to what to the missing uh, variables it means missing any y or z if you want to graph for example y equal minus 1 y equal minus 1 is a plane uh, perpendicular to the y axis at minus one, in, as you can see, perpendicular to the green one at minus one, parallel to the missing, which is x o z plane. So parallel to the x o x o z, with, with, which means the red and the blue one. The red is the x, and z will be the is the blue. And if you want to take, for example, z equal to three, what is z equal to three? Z equal to three is a plane perpendicular to the z axis at the point 3 and parallel to x or y plane okay this is the first part of uh, uh, graphing planes uh, uh, and these planes are not any more lines like we said uh, in a while so now if i want to continue with the second part here this this part here uh, here it's contrary to the first one here i have both missings up for example y and z or x and z or y uh, or x and y here one of them is missing so what's what what's going to happen we're going to see suppose i said for example 2x plus 4y equal to 4. what does this mean first of all i want to graph it to graph it i take first of all y zero so in that case x is two you can see it passing by x is two then i take for example, x is 0, it's passing by y equal to 1. So this is a plane, like we did up when x equal to 2, it's a plane perpendicular to the x axis. Here it's perpendicular to x or y. x, so this is x or y perpendicular to it, parallel to the missing one, which is the z, z x. Before it was parallel to the missing two missing, which was in the first example y or z. Now it's parallel to what? It's a plane. Uh, passing by these two points perpendicular to the x or y but parallel to the z axis if i take for example now uh, y minus 2z equal to 6 so this plane is nothing else a plane parallel uh, perpendicular first of all to uh, y or uh, y or z and perpendicular to the x axis you can see it's perpendicular uh, sorry parallel to the x axis you can see this plane is parallel to the x axis but perpendicular to y or z uh, if you want to find the intersection with the y you take z to be zero it will be y is six you can see it here and if you take for example y is zero z will be minus three so z equal minus three it will cut it here minus three so in this case it's perpendicular to y or z but this is y or z this is the y this is the z perpendicular to it but parallel to the x axis if you have another example where i have x with the z for example x plus z plus z equal to two you can see here that this plane is perpendicular to x to x or z but parallel to uh, the y-axis you can see it's parallel to the green one but perpendicular to the blue and the red one so these are equation of planes suppose you have all are all variables are inside for example 2x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 6 in that case here 
I have a plane passing by, uh, if you take y0 and z0, it will be passing at x, it cut the x-axis at the point 6, you can see it here. If you take x and z to be 0, it will cut y in that case at the point 2y equal to 6, so y equal to 3. And for z, you can take x and y, both are 0, you're going to get z is 2. So this plane, but here the characteristic of this plane is not perpendicular or parallel to any axis okay so it's just a plane cutting the three axes so here you can read this what i talked about in the geogebra you can uh, read it by yourself now uh, equation of cylinders uh, of cylinder circle and sphere in the second video not now i'm going to talk about equation of cylinder circle and sphere see you in a while